Okay, 64th Street, a detective story for the II Arcade. Um, I didn't hear about this game until um, I got the II Arcade, but I love beat em ups. And I looked at the history of this game, and it's very interesting. Um, what I like about it, it takes place in 1939, it has a whole backstory to it. Um, not a lot of games has a huge backstory, but this one really does. Uh, I like the fighting action in it. I like the two-player mode that's in there. The characters that are in it are very likable. As you can see on the screen, the baddies that you fight, um, you know, I like the way they look. I mean, just the whole look of it is great. Um, and the way you throw around, uh, you know, the way you throw around the baddies is pretty good, too. Um, what I love about this game and what I like about a lot of games is you can continue to play all the way through, all the way to the end, as long as you kept keep pressing the coin. And I hate the type of games, the beat-em-ups, where you play the entire game, you get to the boss, and it doesn't allow you to get more credit, so you end up losing to the boss and you have to start all over again. I like to go through a whole entire uh, story to continue it from beginning to end, from the first level all the way to the last, and that's how I enjoy most of my games. Usually if I want a game where I have to beat a boss, it's usually an old 70s or early 80s game. This one's really good. I recommend this if you like beat-em-ups. This is probably right now my all-time favorite on the I Arcade. Even better than some of the newer ones that they have uh, produced and some of the indie stuff. This is, this is one of my favorites. So check it out. Uh, give it a try. If not, you, know, you can always get a refund. But I guarantee you, if you like beat-em-ups... You're going to like 64th Street.